A plane crashed this morning near Belen, killing the two people on board. Investigators are still at the scene trying to figure out what happened. News 13's Diane Anderson is here with what we've learned. Kim, the plane took off before dawn this morning from the Belen Alexander Airport and then crashed just a few minutes later about a mile away in a remote field. Investigators say the plane clipped transmission lines on the way down, cutting power to about 120 homes just before 6 this morning. It was P&M crews repairing the line that discovered the wreckage. The plane is home-built, experimental, and it's called a Legacy 2000, such as this one. It's sleek and fast. This one was registered to a retired Albuquerque man. Sources say the owner regularly flew out of the Berlin Airport with a well-known Known area flight instructor. We're told the pair left early this morning on a flight to Arizona trying to avoid the windy weather moving in later. It was reportedly calm when they took off. State police were first on the scene, but the FBI's evidence response team is processing the crash site for the National Transportation Safety Board. Agents on the scene tell us that's something they routinely do for the NTSB and that there is nothing suspicious about this crash. The NTSB investigator is on the way, and local authorities are working to confirm the names of the two people killed in the crash. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Diane. Now, the Federal Aviation Administration initially reported the plane may, be, hey, may have been missing for several years. They now tell us that report was false.